Tony, a lot of self-inflicted wounds today, especially at the end of each half. Uh, any explanation for the turnovers? Yeah, I think uh, the, the end of the first half was hard. Uh, I really challenged our guys to be uh, attack-oriented and aggressive offensively because of how good Florida State's defensive pressure is and their ability to switch on ball, off ball, over play. So we tried to open up the court and get to the lane and play. And I, and I thought our guys had, for the most part, definitely the right mentality. Same thing defensively. They didn't, they didn't lay down. They fought. Um, and I said, now the next step is, and we keep preaching, we got to season it with a little more discipline and a little more soundness. Defensively first, we kept getting lifted, and they got in there, and at times we played really good defense. And then the same thing offensively, you, you have to have that attack mentality against them, but at times you either come to a jump stop, make the play, um, and do that. So that's, yeah, those those hurt. You know, you'll see it even at the last two or the 10 second call and then the turnover we had. We thought we had Mamadi on a seal. Um, but that's also a credit to Florida State's, um, the atmosphere was really good with the students and the pressure they put on you, on ball pressure, they spread out and they work. And um, so I think, yeah, that's part of it. And part of it was just some unsound plays that it's hard to beat a team that I, I think, you know, this is one of Coach Hamilton's very good teams, um, but we had a chance. And uh, that that's, those things sting, but uh, you look at it and say, all right, we'll take some of the positives and move on and, and keep trying to grow. And I think our, sure, our inexperience shows at times, and it's, it's a lot, but, uh, but they didn't back up in terms of their effort and trying to stay in it where um, they could have. So we'll, we'll build on that. Yeah, and then we'll take one on the left. Uh, Coach, three consecutive losses. They've all been winnable games, close yeah. losses. What do you tell the guys in the locker room when they come up just short in those games? Yeah, um, I've, I've used the quote that I've used often with them this year. It takes courage to not get discouraged. And it can't be, uh, can't be soft if you're going to, oh, dude, <laughs> no, uh-uh. You, you don't get discouraged. Yeah, you can self-reflect and be disappointed. And you can look at yourself, and we can look at, I can look at our, ourselves what we do and say okay here's areas that maybe there's some concerns we keep working on but don't you dare get discouraged and you got to be strong and tough mentally to go and again this is a new territory for a lot of these guys it it's just what it is but uh, when you play you know now we play Georgia Tech boom then we got a Monday game after that you don't have time for that and uh, I don't know how the mind of an 18 to 22 23 year old how it all works and all that but my job is to try to get us ready encourage them challenge them push them and then repeat <laughs> over and over and over. Yeah, we'll take one on the far left here. Tony, uh, you just touched on this. <clears throat> Good game to watch for the fans, back and forth game. Was it Florida State's defense was the bottom line that got them over the hump? I, yeah, I think so, for sure. Yeah, no, they they, they forced us into um, 18 turnovers and they their pressure bothered us at times. Um, and then, you know, as, as Jeff said, there were some um, unforced errors, to use my tennis terminology, or self-inflicted wounds. I don't know, Jeff, you like that term. I don't know why. So, but uh, it's um, it's those were some of the things that we had control over. But but their pace gets you a little frantic, and it takes it takes a strong, composed mind and skill level to to not get rattled in that. I brought in some veteran teams with elite guards, and we've gotten rattled at times, and then maybe had just enough to. To make some big threes or plays, um, so I understand what their defense does, and I think it's even more unique this year and what this they are like. In the, the, in the last two minutes, did you guys get the shots you wanted? Um, well, no, because we got a 10-second call, and we turned it over. So no, I mean it was just trying to spread attack. You know, we got a, you know, I think we got a. Well, the three was a little bit of desperation. At times, we got some good looks and got the ball to where we need it, but at times, we absolutely did not. And, Again, that's a credit to how hard their kids played, and it was a hard playing game. It certainly was not perfect, and um, but it was it was a hard playing game where, where both teams battled and played. I, I think they played their hearts out from what I observed. We have to take a couple in the middle, one right there, and then right next to them. Going into the second half, what were you telling your guys to change the most? Yeah, um, well, I was, you know. I was discouraged, so I guess I wasn't courageous, right? Uh, no, but uh, about the way we ended the um, the first half, I just I kind of the message was, look, I want you to be aggressive, but let's figure this out. There, you you have to slow down a little bit at times, and you have to be sounder defensively without, you know, in dropping your effort. So it was a it was a challenge to them, a hard challenge to some individuals, and a challenge to them, 
and I thought they responded because they did come out and got the game back to, you know, they got a lead and, and fought where, you know, at times you can you can crumble under that. So that was the, the message, and I liked how they responded for the most part. But but are we – no, we've we got work to do. I get all that. Yeah, take another one in the middle. Coach, how do you prepare for a team that's as deep as Florida State is, and what can you guys learn from a loss like this? Yeah, um, you try to prepare the best you can. You can't – you can't uh, mimic that or, or uh, repeat or replicate that um, that kind of pressure in practice. I mean, we got some of our practice guys and some of our managers. But, you know, they're not quite as quick and as athletic as those guys, or they wouldn't be managers at UVA. I think. Um, but you, you try to just kind of overtrain. Sometimes you use extra guys. You get on them. You let them foul. Just anything to make it frantic, and um, and to prepare the best you can. But um, that's that's. You know, there's not a lot of teams that can do that, but there are a few, and they're one of the better ones. They did Jeff. that to us last year in the conference tournament. Jeff. Kihei is carrying a lot on he his is. shoulders. Um, I mean, what do you tell him after a game like this, where obviously he does a lot of good things, but yeah, had nine turnovers as well. It's a lot. Yeah, no, he's, he's, um, I told him before, is your plate is full and it's overflowing in terms of what what's required of, of you for us to probably be successful in a lot of games. You've got to guard, you've got to um, you know handle the ball, make decisions, score. And I said, it's tough. And I said, at times you're going to struggle and it'll look rough. At times it's going to look really good. I said, but I promise you, it's going to be one of the absolute best things for your future as a player. And, and kind of in that crucible of where a lot's required and where you got to you got to battle, you keep got to face in it, and your team needs you to play at a, a really high level. Um, that will produce something good. Um, and again, you know, I'm going to hold them accountable, challenge them, but I am going to, like I said, going to encourage him, say, keep staying after it. And uh, he, he feels it. I know he does. He wants to win, and uh, he's got to do a whole lot for us to win. And tonight he had some tough moments and he had some good moments. Any other questions for Coach? Okay.